Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It really helps me out and you never want to miss a video of mine. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you a tour of my new hamsters cage. Um, if you do not know, I got a new hamster recently in December. Her name is Ivy. She is a Russian dwarf. Um, and so yeah, if you haven't seen that, I will put up I think it's over here. I'm not sure. I hate when people do that, but I honestly don't know which side it is either. Or it will be down in the link below, um, the description below, um, of like the video of me getting her. Well, not me getting her, but the like announcement of it. Her name is Ivy. Um, and yeah, so there's not much to really say. I'm just going to kind of go over her cage. Um, I do want to put, like, a little bit of a disclaimer before I start the video. This cage, or this, um, setup is not her permanent setup. Um, I will obviously be changing it throughout her life. And so, just because it looks like this right now doesn't mean it will always look like this. I am not, like, super, super proud of it, but I am, like, okay with it at the moment. Um, I do wish to get more and more natural stuff. Um, and make it look a little bit better, but for now, I think it's decent, and it's okay, and it works for her. Obviously, the main part of it is whatever works for her, so if she doesn't like something, I'm going to take it out or, you know, move something and put something in that she would like. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go over it. She does live in the Ikea Dilof. Um, this is 938 square inches. I'll pop up if it's wrong or right. Um... And so, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so here is, like, the back of it um, from, like, afar. This is not her burrowing area. This is, I think, eight inches of bedding. Um, I do wish to get more bedding as I go on. I'm just still trying to, like, learn her and see what she likes. Um, on the other side, there is a little bit more bedding, not a lot more bedding. Um, but just to let you know, this is not her burrowing area. All right, so we're going to start on this side. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do a voiceover while doing it. I'm just gonna film and then later on I'll do a voiceover. All right, so starting over on this side of her cage, she has some coconut fiber, she has some aspen, and she also has some paper crumbles. Um, I try and give her as many different options as she would like. Um, I'm not really sure what I wanna do with this area yet, but she does also have a jar and a tunnel over in that area. And some. All right, so heading into the sand, she has some rocks to block it and also file down her nails. She has her 11 inch wheel and she also has her terra pot, which she absolutely loves. Sand is a really great option for hamsters to clean themselves and also have a place to go to the bathroom. Now heading over into the bedding again, we have a water bottle. We have this candle type of thing, some um, grapevine pieces then we have this like platform area she also had her food bowl over there now we have a multi-chamber hide with a water bottle on top since i'm giving her options because i don't really know what she likes yet um she has a hide over there she has her cork tunnel she also had another piece of grapevine she has a lot of grapevine pieces and you can see she also has her hide over there she has some more of these like platform things she absolutely loves them so much and that's pretty much it um, I do um, sometimes scatter feed her. Most of the times her food is in the bowl. Um. All right, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's not like um, I love it, love it. It's not like I said, it's not like super crazy or anything. I do want to make it more crazy um, as I go on. I just have to kind of collect more stuff and with um, Christmas, I got a lot of money from Christmas, so I will be decking it out a little bit more. I wanted to put a live plant in it, but then my plant died, um, before I even got her, so, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work, but I do want to get more things. If you guys have any suggestions of, like, things that I should put in her cage, let me know down in the description, or down in the comments. I know that my comments are on now, so I do recommend letting me know what you guys like 
think I should put in there. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy Ivy. I did do this when she was obviously sleeping. Um, so no footage of her, just our cage. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.